okay, this is my bed. It's usually made up a little better than this, but I want to show you guys what's going on. Um, it's made from cushions. This used to be a table would sit in the middle there and it'd be like a U-shaped bench seat all the way around and it could be converted into a bed. Well, what I did was I got rid of the table, put a solid piece of plywood in, screwed it down and kept it there. And it's been there ever since and it used to always work good. I don't know why I'm trying to kick this cushion back. It's only going to be there five more minutes. Um, but over the last, I don't know, a couple years since I've had this, year and a half, these cushions have gotten flatter and they start spreading apart. Okay. You can see where that gap is there. And, oh my God, everything hurts because I've been sleeping on these fuckers for too long. Um, now this is a very unusual bed size. It's what they call a three-quarter mattress. It's fairly common with RVs, especially older RVs. And it's also common in antique bed sizes. So oh, here you can see a little bit better just what a mess these cushions are. The seams are coming apart. They're flattened on one end and thicker on the other. And it's, it's just a fucking mess. Um, we're going to pull these out right now. Sweep that whole area out underneath. There's also hatches under here. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys that, but I've got storage compartments. One there, one there, and one over here. Apparently the CM camera has added some sort of feature that allows you to take a screenshot while you're taking a video. Uh, I accidentally hit something and it took a screenshot, but it froze the video. So I had to start it and stop it, stop it and start it back up. Anyways, as I was saying, these are a mess. They're out of here. This opens up storage. The one back there opens up storage. The same over there opens up for lots of storage. Okay, this thing is expanding quick. They had it sealed with this plastic wrap to make it small enough to ship. So I'm fast losing. I was able to see a lot more than this a minute ago. Anyways, I saved you guys that part, but I am going to show you. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. See, I didn't remove the part that said not to remove, so I should be good, right? So we've put the pad on, which is a different type of material than I thought it was, but it's still soft. It doesn't feel plasticky, and it actually feels a lot more durable than the material on the last one of these we bought. Uh, it's got to be waterproof, because if he hears loud noises... He's liable to just start pissing anywhere he's at. Um, he's old now. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, and her, she drips water everywhere when she drinks. So here's the mattress. We got the six inch version. I think last time we got the five. And the cover zips around it, which I'm going to finish zipping that up in a minute. The mattress has already expanded out pretty good. But it's got a ways to go. The instructions say it will take two hours for it to completely puff out and, you know, fill itself up. Um, so I'm not in a big rush. It's already much more comfortable than those shitty cushions I've been using for the last couple of years. They weren't that bad to start with. They got worse over time. But the last few months, they've been really, really bad, as you saw. Now, one problem I've already noticed. This mattress is supposed to be 75 inches and it's not at best i'm getting 68 69 does that mean they fucked me back if i got a 69 inch mattress when i asked for a 75 or they sucked me back they sucked me dry my wallet no, i don't know i don't know i don't know what's going on um maybe they say it needs time to expand and i just assumed they meant expand this way but maybe it has to expand out that way also. I'll measure it again. It seems like it has increased a little bit in length since I first took it out of the package. So I'm going to research this more and see if they even make a 69 or 68 inch version of this. And if they do, then I'm going to be contacting Walmart. It's actually sold by Wayfair, but Walmart sells it as a middleman and so I went ahead and bought it through them because one it was cheaper than to buy it direct through Wayfair but also with Walmart you've got that Walmart warranty and so if it's a problem I'll be taking it back 
damn, I don't want to have to go through all that again. I'm going to sleep on it anyway. I, I don't care. Uh, it's long, long overdue. Okay, well, it's puffed out to maybe 73 inches. So I guess it is going to expand. Um, I'm just using a dirty S blanket for right now. I've ordered some fitted sheets and a, a three-quarter size fitted mattress pad. You can't just buy that stuff at Walmart or anywhere. Three-quarter size is kind of unusual, so you got to order it. Um, and, you know, with the holiday shipping, everything's slow. The mattress came a lot faster than I expected. I thought all the other stuff would get here first. It certainly feels a lot more comfortable than what I had going on before. The dogs approve, that's for sure. They don't seem to want to move. There's still little bits of fuzz coming off these cushions and getting all over everything, but I'm going to have to keep a few cushions. One fills in the gap down there, even though it's an inch shorter. That's going to be tricky. Then these other two, I, I, I take these and I tip them like that to block the light out of that window. If it doesn't completely block it out, but it, it helps. Now this window, I think I've showed you guys this before. I know I'm not talking about the dog slobber. I know I showed you that before. This window, it won't slide open anymore because we had to put that there. So when it's like this, it's locked in by that. It used to also be locked in by this rail, which I don't know how well you can see, but I took that rail. Here we go. And I pounded that bastard down all the way across with a hammer until it won't do come out unless I have to open a little bit. That's how I know it's still safe going down the road. And then I probably can't even do it with one hand. So you're just going to have to bear with me one second. And so, yeah, the whole thing just kind of pops out and then I keep it stored back behind these cushions. Actually, I have it behind that one usually, but I'm getting ready to put it back in right now. And putting it back in is even easier. Well, maybe not one-handed. Putting it in is usually a lot easier than taking it out. You just make sure that that slides up into the grooves. And then everything slides on. Give it a push, and it's shut again. So that was one of those things I just kind of had to make it work. I thought about cutting a hole in the back to put the air conditioner, and maybe that would have been a better idea. But it works good where it's at, and it's sturdy, and it's not going anywhere. And it's not real easy to steal. I mean, they could if they wanted. For that matter, they just break a window if they wanted to steal something. But I do have three big dogs in here. Um, do whatever you want. Don't tell anyone. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. And... Maybe now that I have a new mattress, I'll get enough sleep. I can stop stumbling over my own words. Well, I guess I'm going to have to hang on to this box for a little while. What do you think about that, Artie? Do you like that box? Is that a good box for you? Oh, yeah, that's a good box for Artie. So, not only did I get a new bed, but apparently so did the cats. Let me take this money, okay? Really? Is that something I probably shouldn't teach you to chew on? She says, oh no, that's good. It tastes like a million people's hands. Look how bad your tooth is. Let me see. Damn, you're about ready for a cleaning, huh? Cleaning costs that whole pile. Because they had to knock you out for that. Maybe we'll we'll 
see if there's something we can do on the internet. Okay, no more chew my money, bish. You's fucking it up now. You's fucking it up now. You fucking it all up now. Okay, before anybody gives me any grief about the dog and the teeth, it's not just money of taking them in to have their teeth fixed. I had a cat die with routine surgery. And I've had dogs and cats live to ripe old ages without having teeth cleaned. But then again, I've had them have teeth problems and they've had no choice but to be cleaned. So I wait until the last minute if possible. Um, after Dig Dig, that's where Artie got his name, Replacement Diggy, R.D. I know, cheesy, right? That they look so much alike and act so much alike. Anyhow, um... I think that's him right there, which you can't probably see because it's too dark in here. There he is. Artie. Really? Did you know you were named after somebody else? So anyways, um, yeah, so I lost my cat dig dig to a neutering surgery and the really strange thing about it is I waited until he was about five six years old to have him neutered and I only did it when we started traveling because he kept getting into fights with um stray tom cats in places where we camped because he wasn't fixed they would try to break into my Volkswagen van my tent and even my other motorhome my old Tioga and the last time I had to get my hand down there to keep the door shut to keep the outside cat out and they tore my hand up um, it got real infected animal control made me quarantine him and it was just horrible uh, so I decided even though I had 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 that dream that if I ever took him in to get him neutered he would die I figured in the dream the veterinarian was a man and the veterinarian I took him to was a woman so I figured it would just not happen and sh sure enough he died i've had several premonition type dreams whether you guys believe that stuff or not i i know it's true i wish i could have them every night i could live a perfect life if i always knew what was going to happen but i've learned to pay attention to them when i do have them now as rarely as that is anyhow i watch lots of other channels you guys know that um the Nomadic Fanatic channel, he got one of these trees at Walmart, and I thought, that was the coolest idea, I have to get one, so I got down to Walmart, and I, I picked one up, let me see if I can reach over here without falling on my ass, because I've only got one hand, because the phone, now, what I did is, this Christmas tree plugs into an LED, so I've got this little Renogy, it's made to charge your phone or whatever else you want. It's just a single little solar panel. And that thing alone, just up there on my dash, even in the middle of winter, you know, it is Southern California. It's not real winter, but um, is enough to power this tree until easily 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Do whatever you want. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. And, um, boy... If you have dreams that seem really real, you better fucking pay attention.